I think it's safe to say that last episode, episode 8, season 3, perhaps is one of the best Classroom of the Elite episodes all across three seasons, including the Iron Coach versus Reunion fight. I think those two episodes go hand to hand. And there's some other amazing moments for sure. Don't pry into my life. Or Iron Koji is in a monologue saying, Horikita, I never thought of you as a friend. You're fucking nothing to me. Yes, there's some amazing moments. But last episode was amazing. But this is the craziest part. Season's not over yet. People like, uh-uh-uh. You still got 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And a certain goat has not appeared yet. So I'm like, new character? I don't really know. Let's begin to get his reaction though. Extreme justice is extreme injustice. Very wise. Wow. Okay, what's going on? <laughs> Why are you mad that Yamauchi's gone? Well, EK, you know, EK, it was the idiot trio, right? It was EK, Sudo, you know, Yamauchi, and sometimes Hondo, too. But, yo, L, Yamauchi, get the fuck, his desk is gone, too. That's hilarious. <laughs> Just an empty void. You know what? I would argue that this is even better, dude. Hirata's probably really upset. Koji's thinking about Hirata's mask off moment. What happens now? I don't know. What does happen now? Mm, white room. See, here's the thing, right? We need to now know. Is Arisu really a petty bitch that just wanted to get rid of Yamauchi? Or did she save Anakoji intentionally to make the entire class suspicious of him, right? Because this makes him look really bad. Because you remember, from the perspective of every NPC, sorry, other characters in the class, Anakoji is an NPC. He shouldn't be amazing, except that one moment we raced with Anamu, right? So, like, is doing this, this is all intentional setup, right? But it's like, did Anakoji then anticipate this and make Arisu think that she was having the upper hand? Who knows? Okay. All right, all right. What's next then, Arisu? Your boyfriend Yamagat's gone. That's episode one. <laughs> she was just that petty? Petty? Sorry. Wait. I thought that she didn't give a fuck. Is she really just a petty bitch? Yeah, Yamagat crushed you. <laughs> this is an amazing moment. <laughs> Yamagat before Arisu even left. Huh. That Arisu girl's pretty cute, huh? I didn't know she was such a fucking klutz. Not even realizing, bro, you're the one that bumped into her. You're the klutz. God, he's so fucking dumb. He's so fucking dumb. Oh my god, but damn. Arisu really was just that petty, huh? She, she just straight up was just petty and wanted to just get rid of Yamauchi. <laughs> Bye. Wow. That's a new voice. Is this the goat? Tsukishiro! Is he Anakoji Papa's friend? White room influence? Voice acting is epic. You know where it is, you liar. Liar. You just happen to be here with Arisu and Koji? Because it's true, right? Go! No shot! Again? No, don't you dare save him! Oh my god! Holy shit! So many! Whoa! Yo! <laughs> Why did he just do a Yamagata and Manabu in one fucking move? You just kick the cane and then you just wall bang on the Koji one more time. Okay, I understand. Why you guys are calling the goat? Okay. Yeah, this is a first impression, alright? This is a fucking first impression, alright? Oh, oh, getting a little Manabu scene again. Oh,聞いてたことではありませんね。学校関係者が露骨に退学させられない以上、私のような人間を頼りたく理事長代理が暴力行為を働いて問題になる。Yeah, I mean, this is open assault on cameras there too, but I'm sure you can hide it all. Dummy video. Koji Papa. Okay. Come home. He's straight up just here. One blink or nothing. Fuck you, dad. Make me. I can't believe he has his fucking arm up like that, dude. <laughs> Alright, okay. He's allowed to do this because he's not chairman yet, guys. It happens officially in April, okay? He can do a little bit of fucking, you know. Just assault on the students before he starts his new job, guys. It's totally fine. Cool. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. 
What a fucking first impression, dude. Because he's got piano calligraphy skills too? Ah, true. Maybe he wanted Koji to fucking be provoked and fight back, huh? Smart. Because the goal right now from Skishido apparently is to be on Koji's dad's side. Now, we don't know. How honest could this be, right? Because like... If, if he truly is an agent of the White Room and Papa Koji sent him to bring Koji back, sure, it'd be very stupid to, like, fight back and have him alter the camera footage. And that be, that's an excuse to then, you know, justify why he should get expelled. But, like, is he truly in Koji Papa's side? Why are you guys calling him the fucking goat? Why would you guys side with the White Room? Maybe it's just because he's willing to fucking kick out his king like that. Honestly, he is a goat for that. <laughs> Finally. This is round three, by the way. Like, holy shit, every time Arisa comes in the trailer. Remember the first trailer, season three? It's like, hmm, I ain't a Koji. I said that I'd crush you, but I'm gonna take out each snow say first. Psych! It was to get out of Koji's attention. Then we resume. Hmm, I ain't a Koji. Let's have a little competition. Whoever, you know, loses will get expelled and exposed. Psych! Got other stuff going on. But technically, she was fucking, you know, trying to get Anakoji there, too. And now we're like, oh, third time's the charm? Come on, bitch, be for real. All right. Liar. Final special exam. What is it? Battle Royale, survive. Oh, boring studying test? All right. Wait, 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 wait. Did she just straight up call out EK there? Wait, wait, wait. Did she straight up only call EK out? Feel free to ask EK. <laughs> what, wait, me, me, me only? <laughs> Pointless interruptions. Okay, let's assume. Let's assume it is. I ain't gonna lie, guys. I'm not gonna remember these rules. You guys are gonna have to summarize it for me. I'm very impatient. No ties allowed. Okay. Sure, and whoever gets the highest points fucking wins. I don't know, man. Oh, of the 20, only five each are selected. Gotcha. So, like, I do see just, like, this is kendo, right? This is fencing. Is there a chance that we're going to do fucking fencing? Yo, is Koji good at this? Or is there a student in our class that's actually really good at this? Maybe it's time for Sudo to pop off. I see even archery, too. Did No, Koji did, like, tea ceremony and shit, but okay, okay. There's some other stuff. Maybe Sudo can pop off. Me too, man. Me too, Sato. That's crazy. That's crazy. Sakura's only line so far was to go into... Look at this, look at this, look at this right here, look at this right here, dude. Sato actually says something of worth. Oh, I, I'm, I can't follow. So that me. Wasting my goddamn time. Thank you, Kushida. Kushida better than Sakura. Oh, Captain. Hold up. Hold up. Team Captain. Let's see the rules. Chosen as Captain can't participate in any of the subjects. Interesting. The Captain can't participate. But they can be involved in all subjects. I feel very slow right now. They can't participate in the subjects, but they can participate in all subjects. They can't participate, but they can be involved, as in, like, help out. They can't be the person actually performing. Okay, okay, okay. Expulsion! Expulsion! <laughs> More expulsions! What is it, Hirata? What is it, Hirata? Oh, wait, wait, after the class, the captain will take part in a lottery to pick your opponent. Okay. Who's the captain gonna be? Someone that might get expelled. Koenji don't give a fuck. He's too busy hanging out, going on dates with third year girls, man. Hirata and Koenji? Booty call? Hirata remains useless, the true leader of C no T class. Hirata really is falling off, but hey, I, I mean, we had the mask off moment last arc. It should be this arc that Hirata kind of pops off. I'm not really sure. Michan! 
cap Michan's gonna go for Hirata. Michan has been thirsting for Hirata for like since like I don't even know which episode. I swear to God, since like the mountain arc, it's been set up. Michan, what's going on? Is Hirata gonna lash out at Michan? What? Fuck Yamauchi! Why you still protecting him? He threw you guys under the bus. Yo, why you, bro? What's the theory? Yo, the dog is barking back against his owner. Feigning ignorance, huh? Hmm? Yeah, the pseudo and Ike are also useless. How dare she betray me? Mm -hmm. Exactly why? Okay. So the argument is that he's so trivial, it could have been anyone, it didn't matter. It could have been fucking Michan for all that matters. Dana Koji just happens to be the one. Now, this is a decent, you know, defense for Koji, yeah? I think this is a plausible way for them to understand. I mean, it's fucking Sudo. You think he's thinking? No, he's not. Yeah, it is. Just a theory. What? Susan A. Shield? Oh, to regain the trust. Ah, bro is not gonna fucking lose. Bro is not in danger. He's not gonna get expelled. But if he does this because he has absolute confidence. We can manipulate these idiots into thinking that he's an NPC again. Hmm? Oh, I want to be the sacrifice. Smart. Wow. You're a good guy after all. <sighs> this is why they're called the idiot trio. Well, now it's the idiot duo. What? It is kind of true. Like, you, you should be worried about that. If you're thinking that he's an NPC. Yeah. But Koji is himself putting himself there. Yeah. Susan is actually vouching for us quite hard. What a beautiful framework we've set, man. Yes, ma'am. Oh, 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 what, what the? Okay. Clearly, we have to go against A class, right? B class versus D class, C class versus A class. Right to choose opposing class, you. Alright. Okay. Okay. And then the duel between Arisu and Anakoji now works. Cool. Pussy! No, probably smart. Probably smart. Ah! We planned this! Yo, Koji really wants to duel this time. Family! Ishizaki coming in clutch again! Oh, hello. Hello, Nissan. Hello. What's up, Nissan? Hirata? Hirata gonna leave quick? Oh, Michan! Here we go! <laughs> no, poor Michan's gonna get shit on again, dude! I can't take it! This girl's too fucking pure and innocent! You saw how Yamauchi told her to shut up! I was so mad, dude! Hirata's gonna lash out on Michan! No! <laughs> you deserve so much- Michan, you deserve so much better! <laughs> Dude, this is so cruel! Oh, okay, wait! Hirata gotta pop it up! Yo! He's gonna fucking destroy all his harm right now! He's gonna tell everyone of them to just fuck off! <laughs> you shut up too! Damn, that's cold, man. Yeah, you are being mean on Michan. No, you don't! Damn, this mascot Hirata is pretty fun, though. <laughs> Imagine Hirata waterboards K! <laughs> I'm having way too much fun with this. Hirata's gone, man. Poor Michan, though. 
Oh? You wanna start shit? I fucking love it. His nickname. Horikita Girl. Ayano Koji Boy. Red Hair Kun. Dragon Boy. I fucking love it. Alright. Favorite for season? Eh? And what? <laughs> I'm too busy dating senior here. Everything. He's good at everything. Is he leaving? Wait, he's leaving? It's true that I'm an unparalleled genius. <laughs> look, look. If anyone other than Koenji saying this, I would shit on them. But you know it's true. You know it's true, right? Listen, he's an absolute douchebag. Yes, he's a narcissist. He's a pompous asshole. He's a douchebag, but I love him. I love him so much because he is so unapologetically himself and he will com he's competent. I love Koenji. He can do this. I don't care. He earned that, dude. True. Bye. <laughs> Again, he refuses to participate. He is, though. He is. Oh, okay. And Koji? So, oh, Koji invited her. So, they would think we're dating. Ooh. Oh, baby girl, I want them to see us together. Yeah, it's almost like you're my real girlfriend. I'm totally not manipulating you. No, I just wanted to see you. Come on, raise her up. Give her a head pat. Do something. Gift? What? Oh, oh, oh. More cough syrup? More Tylenol? What did he get her? It's her birthday? What is it? Whoa! D he actually got a, a legit gift that a girl would like. Dude. Wow. Okay. O okay. Wow. He's serious about this, huh? I, now, in the light novel, it, it, it said that Koji actually does care about K. And this is not spoilers. I'm talking about light novel content up to this point so far. In season three content in the light novel, in, in, season, in season three, the mountain arc, the climax, what did K say? Would you protect me if I was in the same position when talking about the expulsion? And Koji was like looking back and saying, yeah. But at, in the anime, it seems like he doesn't give a fuck. Light novel, he actually gives a lot of fucks. He actually thinks that like this is... Perhaps romance, maybe he can understand love, but damn, he bro fucking balled out here. Oh, it's not a friend. My girlfriend. I got all the private points, baby girl. 20k? God damn. Almost a PS Vita. Did Ichinose help her help him with this? Who helped him with this gift? Yeah. Whoa, 10 out of 100, really? It's not that good. I thought it was good. She's just being a little sin. Yo, he should put it on for her. He needs to get behind her, put it on for her while they look in the mirror, bro. Come on. You're gonna wear this for the rest of this fucking series now, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's so happy with it. All right. You got a new necklace, man. She's gonna wear this forever. Until drama happens. Who knows? Wow. And Tachibana. Yes, I see her. Mm. Dates. When are you free? Oh. Oh, yeah. You remember this? A little bit of palm strike for a little sister? Yeah, very disappointed. Yeah. She used to smile a lot? That's hard to believe. That's right. Because Nissan is just a goal to her. Yo, what's Tachibana thinking right now? Does Tachibana even know about this? Is Tachibana like, oh shit, this is some juicy ass gossip right now. What? This is how you feel about Suzune? <laughs> yeah, it's very optimized, min max, just no soul. She wants to be you, Nisan. I never thought of it like that. Manabu shortcoming. Even though he's so perfect, he failed at communicating with Suzune. That's true. I never thought about that. I mean, the perfect human is right beside you. I mean, isn't Aonokoji literally the perfect human? Yeah. 
That's what the palm strike was there for. <laughs> what is this fucking Itachi and Sasuke? You must, you lack hatred, Suzune. Despise me. And then you will be stronger. Surpass me. What the fuck? <laughs> All right. She is changing, though. Yeah. She's changed a lot. She's already changed. What? Genuinely? Genuinely? <laughs> nah, I see her as like a little sister. <laughs> Wait, did is Tachimana relieved at this? I don't know. I thought Tachimana was. She seemed relieved there. I thought, like, I don't know. Nah, don't worry. My eyes are only for you. Hmm. Are we watching the right anime? Come on, bro. You know that's not true. <laughs> we did, kind of. K. Almost. Oh, we're not dating Susan, though. No, 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 bro. <laughs> Nissan probably wants Koji to get married into the Horikita family, right? He just wants, he just wants to make it fucking close. You know, it's gonna be brother in law. <laughs> what, what, what? It might happen. Oh, seeing a little bit of Tachibana's quirks, man. Who knows? All right, Tachibana got a line there. Okay, chess, ment what the f mental math? Go is like Chinese checkers or some chess, right? There's modern literature, volleyball math, English, jump rope and dodge. Yo, there's a dodgeball and a jump rope. Okay. I want to do dodgeball. I want to see how to play dodgeball, but she's captain. Koji has. Chess. But he can't play it. Chess, uh, I'm sure he'll explain it. Can Koji literally... Okay. Can he put an earpiece in a player and, I don't know, a, like look at what's happening and literally play for the... Because he can't play. He's a captain. But whoever the proxy is playing chess, could Koji literally instruct them? Like, this is exactly how you're going to do and you're going to beat them? Like, what? Koji and Arisu play checks with two proxies? You know what I mean? Two NPCs play chess while Koji and Arisu, like, you know, gives the orders? She's always playing by herself, man. She needs a friend. And that's another episode of Class in the Elite. And yes, I think the best part is indeed the introduction of the GOAT Skishiro. Bro is like, oh, I'm the new uh, chairman. Uh, I'm new here. Can you show me the way? Oh, yeah. Oh, silly old me. Psych, fuck your walking cane, Arisu. Psych, fuck you, Anakoji. You're not going to save her. <laughs> what a goat. This is insane. This is the first encounter. The first impression their new principal, the new chairman has, and he fucking assaults them. <laughs> I would expect nothing less from a school that is sociopathic as this school, man. The goat is here and I am all for it. Now, some of the other things happening in this episode was basically set up, right? It's basically um the new test, right? New special exam, which is basically a couple subjects. And it seems like the focus is going to be chess, right? Because there's a lot of chess themes, you know? It's like a mind game. Even the opening, there's a lot of chess pieces, you know? And cards and shit like that. And I'm sure... I'm not sure if it was declared that Koji actually plays chess in the past or if he's one like if he's like a grand champion, but I'm sure he's pretty good. And I'm sure Aris is really good. So we're gonna have like two NPCs, like fucking I don't know. Have like EK and fucking some random NPC from A class play, but like, you know, Arisu and Koji are basically giving them detailed straps to see how, you know, what moves to do. So this is gonna be pretty interesting. And this development, the romance between Kane and Koji, it's real. It's happening. It's really moving forward. And I think that Koji truly does care about K beyond just seeing her as a tool. And I think that romance might be on the table. It's really interesting to see how Koji will slowly become a little bit more human. You know what I mean? Even this episode, Manabu was saying like, whoa, it's odd for you to be so casual, like a normal average student. And Koji's like, I am, I am a normal average student. No, you're not. No, you're not. So I feel like K definitely has that kind of effect, right? The more that he spends time with other normies, I'm sure he'll become a little bit more less like the White Room product, which I think Koji Papa is very worried about because Koji is the greatest asset the White Room has ever produced. And Koji Papa wants him back, and that's what Kishiro is here to do. But do you think that the GOAT truly is on Anakoji's dad's side? Or is there an ulterior motive at play? 
Who really knows? But we got four more episodes. 10, 11, 12, 13. That's right. Four more episodes of season three to do. So we'll leave it at that. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.